Um, um. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to Telltale Games Game of Thrones. Once again, in the previous part, we escalated so quickly into what's happening in the story, we're now heading towards the wall as our punishment type thing to save the rest of our family from getting burned and killed for the crime that we've done by killing a Bolton. So, we're going to jump into this now and see if we actually make it to the wall or something else might happen. I don't know, we might go rogue. Let's see this. Alright. So this is the youngest son of the Forrester family. Am I playing as Ethan Forrester? Maybe. So Ethan's the next in line for the throne of the Forrester family. Him. Could you? The Forrester house, I should say. He hides too well, and if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Why is he hiding? Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. I win. Yeah. Congratulations, your lordship. Were they actually playing hide and seek? Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I don't like this guy already. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and- Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is smart. He'll be fine. <laughs> Garrett is smart. He's controlled by me. Hey. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? <laughs> and he calls you a milksop. <laughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me, or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. How old is this he guy? He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. I don't know if I like this playing as multiple pl characters in the same episode. You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training, and he never smiled anymore. And Asher, Asher just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities. Uh -huh. You don't need to be like that. Let's be the, the honest answer. I may have to it's change. To decide for yourself. <laughs> the king never stays um, humble. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. But since you're the new lord... You can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. As many as you'd like, yes. Really? Of course. Why not? He's happy now. You got him on Bobby, our side. You're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. This He's is the not guy demanding justice. Gar Garen. Can't he meet with Duncan? What's his name? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. 
He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. <laughs> it's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay. I really it's should stop playing hide and seek and go to this meeting. And anyways. Fine. If that's what's required of me. Very well then. You know, I, I don't. We all seen what happened to Joffrey when he wanted his own way all the time. He, I mean, he's a little shit, wasn't he? So let's be a good little lord. All these whispering. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here. The business with Garrett. I told him. Garrett. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong. So don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you were decisive and firm. Now do it again with these bastards. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. Yeah, give me some help. What should I say to him? Tell him and his men to leave. Now is not the time to anger Please Lord let fuck off any more than he already is. <laughs> He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. This is Lord Whitehall. Hey. Lord Ethan, is Go it? Away. My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. It's been nice for as long as we can. Oh fuck. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. How dare you? I dare! And I'll do as I damn well please. <laughs> How dare and you? Bread and salt. What kind the of first day on the job? I've got to deal with this. Lord with no fucking bread and salt, you bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody um, foresters. Don't Fetch know what Lord I'm Whitehill doing. Some bread and salt. It was an oversight, Lord Whitehill. He's having his way I with Promise me. it won't happen again. Not likely. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Bruce Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye, and we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. <laughs> Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking control. greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Garrett. It's the guy who got away in the fight. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. <laughs> Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? Oh, this, this is going to be... He acted in your oh. name. And you are the lord of this house. Your men attacked and drew first blood. They murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care oh, of it. Fuck. He received his punishment and it's done. I don't know what the best Gone. answer is for that. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honourable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? 
I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over! It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Politics. <laughs> that lad may be Lord of this house, but Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Um, um. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling quite intimidated, to be honest. I, I'm not one to argue in real life and in video games. I'm not much better at it, so that was that didn't I was go down about too your well. Son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Oh, I did a good job, brave, apparently. Brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Fuck. Ramsay. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's a... Landing at once. Transition. So we're going to King's Dibbox. Landing. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. So, you play as three characters in this game, it seems like. I'm guessing that these characters continue in the future episodes as well. So, I'm playing as Lady Forrester. Well, the guy I was just playing as, playing as his sister, I believe. Being sent back to our room. Are we, are we held captive here? Like, not captive, but not allowed to leave type thing. So we've got some stuff here we can look at. Unfinished letter. What's that? We can't actually read it. We can look at that. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Some random coins. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Okie dokie. Ethan made this for me. Not much to say about that. Just what it is. Can I... Oh, I can read this. Let's read this letter. This is a letter that I'm writing out. It must be, right? Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come. Although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Yeah, he's not getting that letter. How quickly can Raven send a message, you know? The art style is very crazy, like the painting effect, it's it's really cool. Just the old tone. By man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Now he's dead. She doesn't know what NFA this is. Yeah. She doesn't know. Okay. Let's look at the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. I'm expecting someone to knock on the door after we've looked at enough things. Maybe Tyrion. <laughs> it troubles me to even ask this of you. But you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally. Especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Who's at the door? Let's go answer it. One moment. Tyrion! Yes! Oh, oh no. Sorry, Fuck. lady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I can come back later if you'd like. Um, What does he want? No, it's fine. Come in. Or is he just their maid type thing? Slave. Yeah, 
He's very young. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. Can I trust this guy? You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? So they appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. What did they say? I couldn't make out much, but I know they were talking about the Starks and, and House Forrester. House Forrester? Yes, yeah, so news has come to the King's Landing. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. But I thought you ought to know. Thank you. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. You Good could night, become man. useful. We could find a new best friend. <laughs> Here's Marjorie. Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. She looks quite different to the actual actress. Face. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. And your poor family as well. You're very oh, kind, my I'll lady. The middle one there. Of course, Mira. But you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. <laughs> Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She got dirty boobs. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Her face was full of mirth as she said it. How did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Humor her. Tell her what she wants to hear. Well, we gotta play a little game then. See if the Queen Regent is ready to work. receive us. you looking at you'll be fine I know you will you may feel one thing but you must say another yes keep my head <laughs> good luck thank you All right, transition into the next scene right there. So we're going to end it there, guys, because we're pushing on 20 minutes now. So thanks for watching and see you next time, guys. Bye.